23, but every single player has been upgraded to their full potential. Here are the new current top 10 players in FIFA, starting with Kylian Mbappe at 97, Erling Haaland at 95, and Courtois at 94. Fusiala, who is only 19 years old, is now the 10th highest rated player in FIFA at 93 overall. Sorry, Messi, but you're no longer the GOAT of FIFA. Today, we're going to be finding the best club in FIFA 23 if every player was raised to their potential. We're going to take the winner of the Premier League, Serie A, Liga, and Bundesliga, La Liga, Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League. If you are counting, that is eight total teams. We'll take all those winners, put them in a tournament, have them play against each other, and then we'll get the top team in FIFA. Before we jump into career mode, though, and find out who these teams and winners are going to be, let's take a look at the teams because i want to see some of these upgrades all right back to this screen for a minute here is every single player who is rated 90 or above now there's six total pages there's a good one jude bellingham now up to 92. all right page three we have some players like oh but wait who is this you doggy who is this and why is he 91 overall we got vlahalvik at 91 as well and then as the list scrolls down i mean well, Neuer doesn't need an upgrade, but he's still going to be super high rated. Same with players like Mane. Consolo's now a 91. Page five and page six. Let's take a look at some individual teams now. All right, I already know Chelsea's going to be cracked with all the young players and signings that they've just made. Joao Felix, 89. Enzo Fernandez, only 88. I'm surprised he doesn't have higher potential. Waldrick is an 85, and you guys can see in their starting 11 how players have been upgraded. Where's Pulisic? Hello? Yo, look at all of the... Oh my God. Chelsea's whole team are pretty much 80 rated and above. Genuinely, I think Hall and Batinelli, I think these are the only two players who are in the 70s. That is mad. Arsenal looking really solid with 90 rated Saka. Of course, Manchester City have Erling Haaland. They also have Alvarez on the bench, 92 rated Foden. Manchester United have 88 rated Anthony and 86 rated Garnacho. I actually think Bayern Munich will win Bundesliga 100% and might win this video with that 92 rated Musiala. And one last look at a club before we get into the career mode. Here is PSG. Obviously, Mbappe is now the highest rated player in the game and i think they'll still be good but they just don't have a ton of squad depth so we'll see also yeah i forgot 92 rated down in Roma. okay they're probably gonna dominate international teams have also been upgraded so if this video can hit 30,000 likes we will play the world cup with every single player at their full potential so you need a like right now and subscribe okay Please do that. No, do it. I, you, you didn't do it. Click the subscribe. Okay, you have. We're good. All right, let's go. So we will enter this career mode. And remember, we are taking the winners from the Premier League, Liga on Serie A, Bundesliga, La Liga, Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League. Eight teams putting them in a tournament against each other to find the best team in FIFA now. And I'm just going to control Bournemouth because I want to remain very neutral in this video. And I, I don't think Bournemouth has a chance to win anything, sadly. Imagine Bournemouth's actually cracked. Who is their highest rated player? 84 rated Traore? Before I sim to the end of the season, let's sim to the end of the summer transfer window to see if any of these young players move. So the number one transfer with everyone racing to their highest potential is Malinkovic Savage moving to Liverpool for 124 million, which is quite high for an 87 rated player. Real Madrid have decided to sign a wonder kid right back in Gertrudia. Gert Truida. Gertruida. 123 million for an 86 rated right back, bro. I thought it was just in real life where teams are overpaying for players. No, it's happening in career mode too. Neves also to Liverpool. Okay. Hoshberg, Fabinho to PSG. Skriniar. Bro, what? <laughs> what are PSG doing? They're signing everyone. Berlin Mendy is moving to Manchester United. Oh my God. Jonathan David to Barcelona. Let me see this one. He's now, he's only 85. That's this is it for his potential. I thought it was higher than that. And we can scroll down Mares to Leipzig. Here are the rest of the transfers. Let's move to the end of the season to get our eight finalists. And we have made it to June, 2023. Okay, to start, let's go to player stats in the top goal score. Even though players have been raised to their high potential, Youngman's son is the top goal scorer in the Premier League. Sancho, someone who also got a big boost in his potential. He's two, solid three. Holland, four. He is the highest rated player in the Prem. Let's look. Is it possible that Holland move past his potential? He's 94. Sometimes players can go past the potential in career mode, but apparently not with this mod. The top goal scorer in the Champions League was Kylian Mbappe, meaning PSG might have won. And as for Europa League, it was 
Tommy Abraham. Enough waiting around. Let's see who won each of these leagues. Starting with the Premier League. Sadly, the club that we managed Bournemouth was 16th. That is the reason we managed them, because they're not very good. But we will scroll up to find the winner. It's going to be City. Please don't look at City. <sighs> they're the best with potential and without potential. Man City are just good at everything. Honestly, a bit surprised Chelsea were only third. I thought that their team looked way better than that. All right, next, we're going to click on League One to find the winner. I would be shocked if this wasn't PSG. It is PSG. Also, let's say that PSG go on to win the Champions League. We'll have to take the runner-up then from the Champions League to put in this tournament because it's a real possibility that they might have done that. Next up, let's find our Bundesliga winner, which I'm guessing is Bayern Munich. It is. Oh, my God. Bros, they tied Dortmund on 64 points, but one on a goal differential. Next up is the Serie A. I'm guessing it's going to be Juventus. Let's find out. It is Juventus, 90 points. And La Liga, which I'm going to guess Real Madrid. It is Real Madrid, bro. I've guessed everything right. Now it's time to find out who won the European competitions, the big ones. Starting first with the UEFA Champions League. It is Liverpool. Oh my God. I thought it was going to be PSG. It's Liverpool who wins on penalties. Meaning there will be two Premier League teams in our final tournament. The next one we will do is Europa League 3, 2, 1. Roma. Okay. Tommy Abraham top goal scorer. It makes sense. And finally, the UEFA Europa Conference League 3, 2, 1. Who is it? Fiorentina. Bro, how have the three Italian teams made this? What? All right, our final eight teams are set. Man City, Juventus, PSG, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Liverpool, Roma, and Fiorentina will now be put in a tournament to decide who is the best team in FIFA with everyone at their highest potential. So this will be done in the tournament game mode. Number of teams, eight, tournament name. Um, What do we name this tournament, guys? I, I just um, I just had pancakes this morning and... Um, I, I just named the German. I love pancake. I was going to do pancakes, but it wouldn't let me add an S. All eight of our teams have been added. It is time to begin. So the matchups have been completely randomized. I had no say in this. We have PSG versus Man City. I love that. I love that they've put like pretty, pretty much the two best teams up against each other. Roma versus Real Madrid. Bayern Munich versus Juventus. And Fiorentina versus Liverpool. All of these games will be simulated until the final match where we will watch it play out live. Here are the starting 11s for match number one. We get to see Mbappe versus Holland straight away. This is extremely, this is evenly matched. Like you could not get more evenly matched than this. I actually think whoever wins this will win the video. Here we go. PSG versus City. Oh my God, I don't want to look. It's City. Oh my God, in extra time, Phil Foden wins it for City. Holland, is he better than Mbappe? I don't know, man. We might have just proved it. Our next matchup is Roma against Real Madrid. Now, looking at this Roma team, they are the underdog of this competition, but their team's still very good, minus Roy Patricio, who's 80 rated in net. Real Madrid, on the other hand, 92 Vinicius, 91 Benzema, 88 Rodrigo. I mean, Camavinga, Tuchemeni, Valverde, Mendy, like... It's so good. This would be this would be a shock if Real Madrid somehow lose this game. Oh my God! Roma have just knocked out Real Madrid. Tommy Abraham, I dude, Tommy Abraham might be the new goat of career mode. <laughs> Under our next matchup, it's a big one: Bayern Munich versus Juventus. I can't wait for this matchup. Okay, let's focus on Bayern Munich first. Can you guys let me know who this man is? Hell, who is this at striker? I never watched like Bayern Munich ever so who is he why is he good now with potential obviously they have Musiala um image receives a massive upgrade the lick Davies Cancelo I thought he was 91 that must have been wrong and then this is correct me if I'm wrong this is lots on Ibrahimovic's son is it not he's on Bayern Munich right over on the right side we have Juventus um Keen we have Vlahovic and so many other insane players now they are playing three at the back I genuinely think th this match could go either way this is basically Vlahovic versus Musiala here we go who is gonna win this matchup three nil oh my god it wasn't even close Bayern Munich destroy them and our final quarterfinal matchup is Fiorentina versus Liverpool. If Liverpool lose, I will make fun of them forever. And yes, looking at the lineups, I mean, of Fiorentina, they're just, they're nowhere near the level that this Liverpool team is at with Nunez, Gakpo, Nate, Trent. Let's just put Fiorentina out of their misery here because there's no way they can beat Liverpool. Yep, 2-1. And still, Trent got a red card and they still won. Four teams remain in this competition. We now have City versus Roma and Bayern Munich versus Liverpool. We sim both these and then we watch the final play out live. All right, this is Man City versus Roma. 
Roma, I've made a pretty insane run right here. I'm not going to lie, but will it last? Oh my God. They were so close to making the final, man. In our second semifinal, Trent is missing for Liverpool. Let's see if it will matter. Here it is. Oh, Bayern Munich are making the final. All right, boys, it's time to watch this final play out live. Final two teams, City and Bayern Munich. I'm not surprised by either of these. I mean, I literally said at the beginning, Musiala for Bayern Munich. I wouldn't be surprised if he wins it for him. Holland for City, and they also have... I mean, they're, both teams just have so many insane young players. Comment below who you guys think is going to win, and let's get into the game. First off, look at Musiala, bro. He, he's like, yeah, I'm scoring six goals this game. Kick off! Let go! Let me know if you guys like this. I'm going to try the broadcast cam for this game. It just to, to, to give ourselves a little bit of a different angle here. Wait, this camera angle does look you feel like I'm actually watching the game at home kind of weird like it feels like the game is real okay can we get a goal here Goretzka all right both teams are absolutely terrible to start all right Erling Holland. shoot oh great pass oh Bernardo Silva what have you done bro Holland just set you up perfect and that's what you do all right look at photo with the scale look at look at photo with the scale look at him bro he get he's 92 bro he can take on the whole team if you wanted to Davies versus Foden bro two insane young players who both got like huge growth in there overall here oh that's gotta be a goal oh that's too easy man and of course it is kevin de bruyne city we're we're just we're just toying with them but kind of surprising because Bayern munich's defense is actually really good oh Bayern munich oh my god it's the dude whose name i didn't even know tell nah this is actually great passing okay one one this is the game is far from over boys Brian in. Is it about to be 2-1? Oh, this could be a goal fest, boys. There might be 10 goals in this game if we keep going like this. Bayern Munich are now going to score. This is about to be back and forth. Back and forth. Mane in. Oh, it's another. No. Wow. There's so many freaking goals. All right. I didn't know who this guy was before we started. Hell. Um, he's telling me his name now by how many goals he's scoring. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stop. One more chance this half. It is Mosiala 3-2. Bayern Munich take the lead. It was only a matter of time before this dude scored. And that is now halftime with Bayern Munich leading. Start the second half. It's Bayern Munich again. Finally, we get a goalkeeper who saves something. I mean, Ederson. Literally, if I think first save of the game. All right, this is for Bayern Munich to go up two, which could honestly end the game. No way. Bro, what is this? What is this passing? It's 4 2. It's Tell. He's got himself a hat trick, bro. All right, City are trying to mount a comeback, though. I did say there was going to be 10 goals in this game. We have six right now. This is Bayern Munich. If this goes in, it's lit. Game is literally over. Oh, my God. Musiala. Oh, my God. They could have ended it. Oh, this is it. Oh, it's Musiala. He gets his second, and they're going to celebrate because Bayern Munich. They, they've won. And there it is. If you raise everyone to their full potential in FIFA 23, Bayern Munich is the best team in FIFA. And apparently this man right here, Matisse Tell, is the best youngster in the game. If you guys enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love this career mode video right here. And also 30,000 likes and we do full potential World Cup. So like the video. Okay. Bye.